In this series of active tips, we're looking at what's new in Active Inspire 1.4. And in this tip, what we're going to talk about is back by popular demand. The page turn effects. All you had to do was ask for it, and Flippy here moved his magic wand, and you got it. So, let's look at some of the effects before I show you how you can set it for just application or individual pages. That's right. You can have page turn effects for the entire flip chart or separate ones for separate pages. So you could have the cube rotate, which looks like that, the page curl, the flip over, the spin on the corner, the wipe, or the rotate reveal. Ooh. So, how do you set it for an individual page so I have a different page turn effect for every single page? What I'm going to do is go over here to my property browser, and we're going to go to the property browser right here. Now, I need to make sure I have the page selected and not an item on the page. If I click here, you can see I have this image selected. Page turn effect is not going to be one of my options. So, just click in the page. And in the page menu right here, it says page turn effect. So I can click on the little dots. And now right here, I'll see it shows all of the page turn effects. And what's really cool is if I put my mouse over it, it's going to show me an example of what it does. It'll show me what the flip over does. It'll show me the cube rotate or the spin squares. So click on that. Click done. And there you go. The effect runs when you navigate away from a page. So such individual effects are going to override any application-wide settings that you have. The effects are disabled in only three circumstances. Or sorry, four circumstances. One, when you navigate with a page browser. So if I navigate in here, it's not going to happen. Two is if you're in design mode, when the revealer or spotlight are in use in desktop annotation mode, or when the background of the current page is set to desktop overlay. Now I can also set it so it does it application wide. What this means is that it's, instead of a specific page turn effect for each page, it'll do it for the entire application. So the whole flip chart will have the same page turn effect. To do that, very simply, I go to view, page turn effects, and again, I just pick the one that I want. We'll do Promethean Man. And then click Done. And so now it's going to be set. Now again, some of this one on this flip chart may not work because I've set individual pages and those supersede or take precedent over application wide. But if I go forward, and let's say I make this a red color, we should be able to, or black, can see Promethean Man coming up and back. Very cool. Now, while page turn effects are fun and can be very useful, please remember to use them wisely and sparingly. Active Inspire is a great presentation tool, but you want, to fo you want your focus to remain on student interaction and not just purely as a presentation tool or presentation device for slides. Hope you enjoy this active tip. Enjoy your page turn effects.